Welcome back. I thought I'd do a little follow-up to my last video. And uh, I was talking about how your brain is such an important tool. And, well, this guy kind of fits into that because mm, I talked about solving problems using your brain. And uh, I'm going to back up just a tiny bit to a, something I've said a number of times is uh, differentiating the difference between symptoms and problems. And for those of you that know this guy and have been following my videos for a little while, um, I've been training him. We've done an awful lot of groundwork with him. And lately, we've actually been getting on him. Unfortunately, well, since we've been getting on him, a bunch of problems have popped up. Well, not serious problems, not ones that are dangerous, but a lot of really unusual problems that I've never even heard of before, again. So, we have to decide, you know, what are symptoms and what are the actual problems. And out of all the things that we've been seeing, there's only one that I think we've actually figured out what the problem is, and I'm not quite sure what to do about it yet. Uh, the other little issues that we got with them, we haven't even determined what the actual problem is. Uh, fortunately, like I said, you know, they aren't particularly dangerous ones. They're just really odd ones that, uh, like I said, I've never experienced before. So we're going to, again, put on our thinking hat. We're going to use the most powerful tool we got. We're going to use our brain and we're going to think about what's happening, what we're seeing, what is potentially the actual problem. And then from there, we're going to have to figure out how we're going to deal with it. Because a number of the problems that we've had are, like I said, they're, you know, to, much like other things that we've run into, He's stealing my glory again. He does this all the time. I don't know if he does it on purpose or not, but uh, I'm not going to be upstaged. There. We're in front of him now. Okay. Uh, you know, like I said, you know, I, the problems I've never heard of, never seen, haven't read anything about them, haven't seen videos about them. Um, they aren't particularly serious problems, depending on how you look at it, as in they're not dangerous, but there are indications that we're not getting the communication that we would like to have with them. We're not getting the response to our cues that we want and that sort of thing. But uh, the only way that we are going to solve these problems is by using our brain. We're going to have to think our way through this, figure out what the actual problems are based on the symptoms we're seeing and take it from there and work it out. So I just thought this was a rather fitting follow-up to my last video where I said your brain is the most powerful tool you're going to ever have. And, well, we're going to have to use that one because of this guy here uh, presenting us with some rather unique situations that, well, there's no answers written to or that I've seen in videos or anything like that. So we're going to have to use that tool and figure it out. So, one more example, real world here. Uh, this is what you're going to have to do, and probably more than once. You're going to have to use that powerful tool called your brain and figure out what's wrong. Have a good day.